Hey buddy, it's Stitch1993 here, back again with another review, another Potato Head review. I know it's been a while since I did one. Uh, so today we're looking at the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head 70th Anniversary. Came out in 2022. So uh, Mr. Potato Head celebrated 70 years last year. And I'm going to go over the box first, then I'm going to go over the Potato Heads. And then I'm going to get my thoughts on it. So, yeah, let's look at the box. All right, so here's the the front of the box. First thing you'll probably notice is the uh, 70 years logo. It's not quite uh, aligned correctly, and that's because it is a sticker. Um, I'm going to try to try to see here that that's a uh, that's a little edge. My finger now coming down off the edge. I don't know why it's a sticker and not just part of the box. I'm not sure if they probably are going to release this later on uh, without the sticker. It'd be weird to do so, but anyways, um, of course the names, the, the name these two is uh, Yamma and Yampa, although as you saw in the potato heads, they're not the yam color as we've seen earlier with the yam DeLorean. There is that orange color here. So, uh, I'm not quite sure why they chose that name, uh, but of course it's a potato head pun like they do with almost every one of their characters, so we'll, we'll overlook it. Uh, the right side of the box just shows all the pieces. There are 24 pieces total, including the bodies. In the back it shows some ways of the kids playing with it and it says also celebrate 70 years of potato head and then says it in a, a number of different languages. And then on the uh, left side of the box it says mix up the fun and it shows a couple of different uh, ways you can mix and match the pieces there. On the top of the box we have the uh, Mr. Uh, the potato head logo along with the uh, uh, cartoon version of the Yampa and Yam Ma figures. And then on the bottom, of course, we have the barcode as well as all the copyright stuff. This is also one of the boxes that has the plastic free packaging. And uh, yeah, as of I think it was 2021, they went plastic free with the packaging. Uh, it says accept tape and glue. Uh, so when I opened this up, all the pieces were wrapped in tissue paper, like the, the like the type of tissue paper you would use when uh, for gifts, uh, for for stuffing gift bags in. All right, so let's look at the figures. Okay, so first we're looking at the yam paw, and right off we've got the uh, cargo pants with belt painted on and white shoes. We've got the regular potato head body that has been the the norm since the uh, early 2010s with the gap smile, the three holes on each side and as well as the three holes in the back and the slotted top and bottom there. Uh, for the Yampa we have of course the black derby, the famous red nose. We have a mustache that is more uh, kind of a peach tan color. So I think that's the first time we've had that color of mustache ever for this figure. We have of course the regular pink ears as well as just an open smile laugh included with a tongue. Uh, I'm not sure if we've, I feel like we have gotten that type of smile before uh, but I'm not sure if we've gotten it in this specific design so that may be a, a first time piece as well. And then of course we've got the black pupil eye boots with that now uh, used kind of a uh, little side iris there. We have the uh, wave hand as well as the what I like to call the carrying hand, the cup holding hand. It's carved out so that if it came with an accessory you can kind of plug it in there or have it holding it. And of course we have the optional, let's get that straight there. 
we have the optional uh, glasses and this is where I've kind of started being disappointed with this figure and just for these figures in general I haven't had this issue with any of the other previous potato heads even ones that have come out earlier this year uh, but you, you'll see with these so we're going to try to put the uh, glasses on the potato head here and as you'll see they just don't they just don't stay on they want to push the ears out and because I don't know what's the issue with the design the it, the ears just don't want to stay in the potato head and then the glasses are just a little too small for the uh, potato head body itself uh, I feel like they just need to be a little bit more wider because it just kind of wants to spring load the glasses to where they either want to sit like that or uh, they just want to pop right out and as I said these ears which I had I don't have an issue with the ears from any other earlier potato heads, even ones that came out uh, earlier 2020 or even 2021 but with these they really don't have much give to them it's kind of just a straight line uh, which is these almost the same diameter if not a bit smaller than the hole for the ear hole and I'll even try putting it with the uh, different ears and as you can see outside of just a, a bit of squeakiness at the at the very last bit there they kind of just slide right in and out uh, without any hesitation they have no uh, almost no put that back in there they have no friction on the ears so that's that's where in and uh, well, you'll see what the the Yamaha, it kind of goes the same way there. So let's look at her now. All right, so yeah, with the Yamaha figure, we have a uh, kind of a black body with a pearl necklace design and the uh, red shoes uh, with a little bit of heel in them. I'm not sure if you can see that there. There it is. Uh, of course, the same body as usual. We have the uh, open smile, well, uh, or closed smile, open lips. For Miss Potato Head, kind of a reminiscent of the older design lips. We have a tickle me pink, soft pink nose. Have the uh, black pupil eyes with a little white dot and blue eyelashes. We've got the same regular pink ears, but to differentiate them, they have a small little blue earring dot painted on them uh this is another disappointment i you know growing up miss potato had had like actual earrings that you could put in so that way the uh, ears were still the same so you could use them on anything now i'm saying you can't use these but if you're you know lose an ear and you want two matching ears and all you've got is the yamma yampa uh suddenly yampa is going to have an earring she has this purple hair, light purple hair, uh, with the same design we've seen for for a lot of that, that Bob slash Karen hairstyle. This ear falling right out. Yep, see, there's the other one. Just And see, it's even worse with Miss Potato Head. I'm not even doing anything. They're just kind of falling right out. It, the, the hair's kind of pressing down on it, which I guess is too much for the years anyways um, she comes with a kind of a carrier arm but not something you can carry with it's just more of a hook I guess it'd be a considered a, a loop arm or, or curved arm or maybe uh, maybe it's a hip hand on hip arm yeah more like that she does come with one accessory a purse which is fine it's almost uh, just kind of an updated design of the uh, red purse we've had for for decades now and then she has the uh, the kind of a high hand although the uh, the index finger is more lifted than the others so we'll just hook the purse on top of that like that there's that ear 
Um, so I'm not even going to try to put the glasses on because as you can see, ears just are not going to have it. But just to show you what they are, there's the, the same design. So it's not even, not even different design glasses. It's the same designed glasses, just another yellow paint color, which we've had the yellow glasses before. They're, I feel like... Uh, I feel like the yellow ones are more iconic than the black ones. Let me know down in the comics, uh, comment, comments below. Did you grow up with the uh, black glasses or did you grow up with the yellow glasses? I'd like to know. I grew up with yellow glasses and then later on the black glasses came out. So, but it's the same issue. The glasses are really too small for the head and, and the ears, of course, are not strong enough to hold the glasses in so they are just going to want to pop right off as you do it. So final thoughts on these figures. They're fine if you're just going to use them for display. However, if you want to display them with all the accessories, um, I don't know if it's just my copy that I got. I got these off of Amazon. I haven't seen them in stores so I think they're Amazon exclusives. But, yeah, as you can see, the ears are pretty loose, and the glasses do not want to stay on the bodies there. Other than that, they're they're decent figures. I, I'm just disappointed that for the 70th anniversary, this is what we got here. Um, kind of almost basic figures with, uh, you know, you could release these as their own individual pieces... And probably, you know, there, there'd be nothing said about them. That's probably why they put that, slap that little 70 year anniversary sticker on them. They probably realized, Hasbro probably realized at the last second, oh gosh, that's right, it's Miss Potato Head's uh, 70 year anniversary. We gotta do something. Well, we've already got these in the works that are gonna be released, so we might as well just put the sticker on there and, and release it as the 70 year anniversaries, which. I don't know, especially compared to past years like the 60th anniversary and even the uh, 50th anniversary. Uh, I feel like those had a lot more time and care put into them. I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think. Is Was this good for a 70-year anniversary? Do you think Hasbro could have done better? Um, did you get these figures or, or how... Are you planning on getting these figures? And what are your thoughts if you're still on planning on getting them? Or if you're going to pass? Um, did yours also have the issue with the ears? Or is mine just kind of a, a dud and yours are fine and the glasses fit on with no issues there? Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, sorry. I just, uh, I like the Potato Head brand. I've you know, love them for, for decades now. And I'm just kind of disappointed that this is what we got for the big 7-0. So it's going to be at least another five years until we get any anniversary sort of edition again, if not another 10 years. So who knows what the potato heads will look like there. Um, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are just in general and how you've uh, enjoyed the potato heads over the past 70 years and how long have you been enjoying them. And of course, Remember to like and subscribe for future videos like this, and until next time, thank you and have a good day. Bye.